Well, it is said by the Daily Mirror that Arsenal are leading Victor Oshman race. How does this come to pass? How did this come to happening? Obviously, it was after yesterday, Victor Oshman coming out and revealing to us that he's working hard to join the Premier League and he wants to be playing in the Premier League. So much on fire this season, scoring in very many goals, though they lost, I think, their first game in how many? Is in the last 20 games on the weekend, but Victor Oshman is really a center forward that is really taking Europe by storm. Rokani Media Football is the YouTube channel. Rokan David is my name. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Looks like Arsenal is so much interested into getting another second world-class striker after Gabriel Jesus having learned a lot from the injury crisis they are in this season. Even Roberto Firmino is onto the ladder of Arsenal. They are watching and monitoring the situation. Remember, he is going to be a free agent in the summer. And lastly, Ben White has gone ahead and really spoken out on what his career has been made of from Brighton Leeds to Arsenal and so much more. He's expecting this season for Arsenal. Let's get this rolling. And now, we are having a story coming in from... <coughs> Coming in from Victor Oshman. He's the one who sparked this off yesterday when he put out this statement. Oshman said, I'm working so hard to make sure that I achieve my dream of playing in the Premier League one day. It's a process and I just want to keep on this momentum. Serie A is in one of the top five leagues in the world and it's an amazing feeling for me. To me, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised for him coming in through and doing this that he wants to be playing in the Premier League because the Premier League is the best league in the world. It's the best league in the world. And where does he come from? Nigeria. He's African. Which league is most supported in Africa? It's the Premier League. And by the time he grew up, Arsenal, United, and Chelsea were really the biggest teams in the Premier League, and they're really making marks and signing big African players, especially Arsenal and Chelsea. Now, when that story really fell in through that he wants to join the Premier League and working hard to join, the Daily Mirror told us that Arsenal is a team that is leading the race. The Daily Mirror told us that Arsenal are leading the race to sign Victor Oshman from Napoli this summer, despite interest from Manchester United and a number of other European clubs. What does this send? I'm not saying that this story is 100% true, but what are we getting out of it? You know, there is no smoke without fire. To me, I believe Mikel Arteta has known that he needs to be doing beta at Arsenal and he would have done beta if at all he had another world-class striker off the bench. I told you, there are certain games Arsenal wouldn't have lost if at all they had Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal wouldn't have lost to Everton. They wouldn't have... They wouldn't have drawn... Sorry, they wouldn't have drawn with Brentford. They wouldn't have lost to Man City 3-1. You get? Because of what a world-class striker in the specimen of Gabi Jesus brings to Arsenal. But, because of not having him, they've went ahead to drop very many points in his absentia. Remember, in the 14 games they played with him, <laughs> they won 12, drew 1, and lost 1. Now, Arsenal have gone ahead to play, Arsenal had played 8 games, I think. They lost 2. They lost 2. Drew two and won four. <laughs> that is Arsenal for you. So it shows you how standards had dropped. I think if Atul Jesus was here, they would have found themselves losing like one game because of what he offers up front. He makes every player. I'm talking Jesus. I'm for, guys, I'm sorry. Jesus, Jesus. He's known as Jesus. All right, Jesus. Now, if Jesus was here. Arsenal wouldn't have found themselves in a situation of really losing so much games. Now, Ateta knows it well that he needs another second striker, a world-class striker. And uh, for Badogan, I read the story that he's not wanting, he's not willing to come back to Arsenal to play as a third-choice striker, meaning that Arsenal are in hand of a world-class striker. Now, one will ask himself, if Arsenal are in for Victor Oshman, and they want to sign him. What does it come with? 
how will he be playing with Gabriel Jesus? Guys, <clears throat> Arsenal is having one of the best single pivot players known as Thomas Partey. Even Jorginho can do that single pivot very well. Now, if you're having Oshman and uh, if you're having Victor Oshman and uh, Jesus, sorry, Jesus in the same team, you'll find that Mikel Ateta will have to switch these systems. He'll go to a back three. <clears throat> He'll either go to a 3-5-2, you get, with three central defenders. That is Saliba, Benny White, and uh, Gabriel Magales. <clears throat> you get, or Jakub Kivio, Saliba, and uh, Gabriel Magales. Then Benny White plays as a right wing back, who plays as a left wing back. That is Zichenko. That midfield three, Odegaard, Thomas Partey, and uh, Odegaard, Thomas Partey, and uh, Grant Xhaka, maybe. Then a front two of Victor Oshman and Gabriel Jesus. If not, he can stay with the back four. Of Gab of Benny White, Zinchenko, Gabriel Magales, Jakub Kivio, all Gabriel all Saliba. Then he plays a system of three of four, sorry a system of four one three two. I think it's better. I do a video of this. You get because explaining it right now. I know most of you might not understand it, but I think you are paying attention to detail. A system of four one three two has four defenders. A play one player that's playing a single pivot. Three attacking midfielders with two forwards. You get Thomas Pate playing as a single pivot or Jorginho. Odegaard playing as a central attack midfielder. Saka off the right attacking side of the midfield. Then <clears throat> Martinelli off the left attacking side of the midfield. Then Hayes, Jesus and Victor Oshman leading the line. So it's possible that way. It's possible. But... The price is really ridiculous. 130 million pounds is what is what Napoli is calling in for the signature of this man. 23 years of age, tearing up the Serie A and obviously putting the Champions League into raptures. That is Victor Oshman. And I think if Arsenal get him, he'll be an ideal signing. But Will Arsenal spend that amount of money on him when they are wanting to sign Declan Rice? All that and more is what we are waiting for. And again, <coughs> it doesn't stop on Victor Osman as far as signing a striker at Arsenal is concerned. Mikel Ateta is serious and he's looking at cheaper options to finance his budget and make it work out. Now, there is a player that has been playing at Liverpool, proven every time we've, we've seen him at Liverpool. He has spent eight years, came at Liverpool when he was 23 years of age. Now he's 31. Ateta is really trying to find means of really looking for strike. And been told by Ekrem Kona, he's a global transfer expert. He's one of those that at least doesn't lie on the stories that he really puts out in the media. He has told us that Arsenal could be interested in signing Liverpool's 31-year-old Brazilian striker Roberto Firmino in the summer <coughs> transfer window. Now, get the word right. Could, 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 could. For Roberto Firmino, he'll be a perfect fit in that Arsenal side. You know why? He's not hard working as Gabriel Jesus, but there is one characteristic that they hold in common. Do you know what that is? These two make all the players playing around them better. When he's leading the line, Roberto Firmino, I think, is better than Nketia. If you are told Nketia leading your line, all Firmino. I think you rather a Roberto Firmino to lead your line than Eddie Nketiah because he does what we call the holder play very well. And the inclusive play that calls in for other players to play alongside him <coughs> is expected. So, all it's a must. So, to me, I believe as Victor Osman ticks all the boxes for a different kind of striker that Arsenal doesn't have, 
even Roberto Firmino takes all the boxes of a striker that is going to make the likes of Odegaard, Bukayo Saka, Martinelli, Res Nelson, Trossard, Leandro, Luke, Beta at the exposal of the opponents Arsenal will be facing. But to me, I believe the boost of Firmino coming to Arsenal is simple. One, there is no rivalry between Liverpool and Arsenal. That's why it was easy for Liverpool to wanting to sell Robert Suarez, so, sorry, Luis Suarez to Arsenal. The deal failed because Arsenal clinged on 50 million pounds. <coughs> Liverpool told Arsenal, how much are you adding? As in Wenger told them, I'm adding you one pound. Then the player was sold to Barcelona. But there is no bad blood. Transfers can be done. Chamberlain crossed from Arsenal and went to Liverpool. But there had transfers to see happen. A player from Manchester United to Liverpool, that's hard, or vice versa. A player from Man City to Manchester United, it's hard to happen. <clears throat> you get? A player from Spurs to Arsenal, or Arsenal to all Arsenal to Spurs is hard to happen. So I think there is no there is no hinge that can stop Roberto Firmino to join Arsenal. And one the other one, the other boost is the player is a free agent. Arsenal can get him on a free. So that will help Mikel Ateta to stretch his budget and get in other players. You get if you get in Roberto Firmino, his experience is really vast. We remember a story that was put out that Mikel Ateta wants to rejoin with uh, his former player at uh, Man City, known as Raheem Sterling at Chelsea, because he believes his experience is needed in the Champions League. Now, for Raheem Sterling, he's not a Champions League winner. We all know that. But Roberto Firmino has played three Champions League finales. Three Champions League finales. <laughs> That's it. You add him to that Arsenal side, he brings that experience of the Champions League to let this player know that this is how we play. Because right now, Arsenal is lacking experience. In everything that Arsenal is going through, what they are lacking is experience. You get? If he combines with Jorginho, Jorginho is a Champions League winner. Firmino is a Champions League winner. I think Arsenal will be so much safe and ready to play in the Champions League because they'll be knowing what it's needed to play there. So, to me, I believe... For starters, if you tell me Victor Osman and uh, Victor Osman and Firmino, <clears throat> who do you rather take at Arsenal? I think I go with Firmino. Firmino will understand when he's benched because he's 31. He's, he's supposed to be played reservingly. But Victor Osman, Os Osman won't understand that. He's 23, 20 years, 23 years of age, 24. He wants to be playing game in, game out. And uh, Firmino will understand the situation. Secondly, <clears throat> the manager can play Firmino, can play Firmino in very many positions. He can play even into that Odegaard role. So you'll be having a versatile player, like you see Leandro Trossard. He can also play wide. So I believe it's better to get in Roberto Firmino than Osman for me for now, because Victor Osman is really expensive. Why should Arsenal spend 130 million pounds on Victor Osman when there is a player known as <coughs> Firmino? You, you get in Firmino, plays you for the next two, three years as Balogan just goes ahead to explode and gain experience. I think next season, he has done all what <coughs> he has done all what is possible to prove Premier League teams that he's ready, all Premier League ready. So, if Arsenal can bring in Balogan in a Premier League team, he plays two seasons as they use Firmino for two years. I think after the two years of Firmino running out, Balogan can easily find himself with a team of Arsenal. Not so, that's what I'm really thinking, that if Arsenal is to do smart business, you bring in Firmino on a free transfer, then you bring Balogan to the Premier League, for the next two years, when he's Premier League proven, then you'll bring him to the club of Arsenal to get the job done and dusted because would have been Premier League proven by scoring in very many goals. That is Roberto Firmino and Victor Osman. Arsenal are really trying to get in those signings as it stands. Now, Ben White has been talking to the AFC program 
Uh, he has told them that, but for me, it's about being on the pitches every day, trying to constantly be the best you can be. That's the bit I really love. When I come into the training ground, it's all about football, 100% focus. Then when I leave, I switch off from it. So, he's confirming to us that when it's football time, it's 100% footballing time. If it's time to do his other stuffs, it's time to do that. And that's what Ben White has, has built. And that's where Ben White has built his career. That is it. So, guys, thank you for watching in through. Tell me your thoughts about Arsenal leading the rest for signing Victor Osman, question mark. And they could be interested in signing Victor Osman or Victor Osman. Now, Arsenal fans that are watching this, this, this channel and video, of the two, who would you rather go with? Do you go Victor Osman or do you go Roberto Firmino? I'm waiting for your comments into the comment section below. And Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. May the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly. I'm out, my beautiful mates. First video, we are remaining with four, and the marathon is on.